Hello. We're going to take a look at the shipment history page now. As always, please make sure annotations are turned on YouTube using the gear icon in the bottom right. So to get to the shipment history page, we hover over shipments on the blue bar and select shipment history from the drop down. So the shipment history page contains a record of everything you've sent using your account in the Shipping Easy application. By default, it just shows the last seven days. But you can change that using this filter on the right side. Just remember that the largest time period that can be displayed at one time is 90 days, even when setting a custom date range. If you're trying to find a specific order, the easiest way is just to use the global search up in the top right here. You can search with order number, recipient, or tracking number. Now the bulk of features on this page can be accessed using these two drop-downs on the right side of the order. The reprint drop-down and then this green drop-down. Now the reprint drop-down allows you to reprint a label, packing slip, or pick list from this page. If you reprint a label, it's not going to charge you again. You already paid for that label. You can print it as many times as you need, but you can only use it once. Uh, you'd use this in situations where, say, the label was destroyed after coming out of the printer, or it came out of the printer wrong. Just come in here, print yourself another copy, and don't worry about it. However, do keep in mind that the label will be reprinted with the same settings with which it was originally created. Now, this green drop-down has some more useful features. The first one, Create Prepaid Return Shipments. If you want to pay the postage cost for your customer to return the package back to you, come click this. It will create a new shipment on the Ready for Payment page. And when you buy this label, the default setting is for us to email it to the customer as a PDF attachment. If you change that default setting in your store settings page, it's up to you how to get that label to your customer, but returns are super easy in our application. Now let's say you made a mistake on a label but didn't notice until after it was purchased, and you need to fix it, but the label is already purchased. This is a two-step process, but it's actually pretty simple. The first step is to come in here and hit Cancel Shipment. This will void the label and initiate an automated refund process. It takes about 5 to 10 business days, but the money does come back to your postage balance on its own. You might find other reasons to cancel labels beyond just fixing shipments, but since we're fixing a shipment right now, we'll move on to step 2 of that process, which is to create a duplicate shipment. This will create an identical shipment with all the same specifications and put it on the Ready for Payment page. It takes us there automatically, and we click the Edit button to send it back to the Ready to Ship page. This is where we make any changes we need to make to the label, and then buy the corrected label. Now, let's go back to the Shipment History page, because there's one more thing I want to show you, and that's a USPS scan form. Let's say it's the end of the day, and you have all your packages set up, and you have the post office on the way to come pick them up, but you have like 20 packages, and you want to make sure that they don't miss any when they're scanning them all to activate the tracking. What you want to do is make a scan form using this link right here. Now what a scan form does is it consolidates the tracking barcodes for orders that have a ship date of today, and turns them into one tracking barcode. All the post office has to do is scan the one barcode on the scan form and it activates the tracking for all the orders included in the scan form. This is a big time saver for them as they don't have to scan each individual package and you get the peace of mind knowing that everything you sent with the post office was actually scanned and had the tracking activated. A couple of things to remember about scan forms. First, scan forms can only be created for orders that have a ship date of today or any future date. Finally. This page generates one scan form for each Indicia account, so if you have a mix of priority and first class packages, you will have two scan forms. Now your account's completely set up and you're ready to start shipping. Click the link displaying right now for an overview of buying and printing labels and batches.